What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. I'm pretty excited about this one because it is finally back. In this video, we are going to be unboxing, I actually don't know, September? We're going to be unboxing the 2000, I don't know what month this is for you guys, the 2018 September, the collector's case! This box has been MIA on my channel for a very long time. I don't even know how long. I actually kind of forgot about it and then a lot of you guys have been asking me about it and then I went back on my account and realized that I wasn't subscribed to it so I subscribed to it and here it is. Here it is. Uh, the Collector's Case has always been one of my favorite subscription boxes. It's a, it's a really good box. I haven't had it in a while so now I'm just excited to open it. I have no idea what month this is for. I think September. I just got this recently though so. Like, I think I got it. I think I received it in October, so I don't know. Anyways, if you're interested in getting this box, I will go to put all the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. How does it look? Oh, oops. This is what you're going to see. Sorry. Huh. Oh, I already have interesting thoughts about this, but let's just, let's go with it. Okay, so the interesting thought that I had is I just saw the shirt, which we'll do last, but this says shirt punch. So it's a shirt punch shirt. Shirt punch is, uh, well, Nerd Block used to own shirt punch, and then I think somebody bought them out once Nerd Block, like, kind of died a little bit, but I don't know who did. Maybe Collector's Kids did. I don't know. Let's see what we got now. This box has, if it's still the same, usually there's two opportunities for drops each box, an autograph and a mystery figure, like an additional mystery figure. I'm going to assume that maybe we might have maybe gotten a drop, but I don't know. That could be just an item in the box. All right, let's do this. The first item we have is a Funko Pop from Mortal Kombat 10, and this is Scorpion. And this box actually came in really good condition. I don't play Mortal Kombat, but I wish this was a, it was like Scorpio, because I'm a Scorpio. That was weird, sorry. That was like a random joke, but. And there's the set that Scorpion comes from. It's always nice to get Funko Pops, you guys know that. Next, we got two packs of WWE Then, Now, Forever training, training cards, and you want to look for the John Cena tribute cards. I like WWE. Let's go ahead and open these and see what we got. The first card that we got is Lex Luger. I really liked Lex Luger, and I really liked him in the video game, too. We got Jeff Hardy. Oh, these are, like, super old school, which is cool. Tyler Bate. I don't know him. Bo Dallas. He's newer. Neville is also newer. Bobby Roode. And Ty Dillinger. So no fancy cards in that one. Let's see if there's... Fancy cards. The collector's case usually always does. It's like weird. I haven't opened this box in so long. They usually give us a couple packs of trading cards. I've actually received some like autographed cards from the trading card packs that we've gotten. This one doesn't look like anything good, but we have Edge. Oh my gosh, Edge. Edge and Christian. We have Killin' Dane. Is it a com? A com? Callisto. We got another Tyler Bates. Oh, well, this is cool. We did get a John Cena card. It's not a special card, but it's John Cena. And then we got, yes, yes, yes. We got a Daniel Bryan card. Very cool. Okay. For those of you who have been wanting some WWE action on my channel, there you go. All right. Next, we got an action figure. This is Commando Spawn from Spawn. This is a really nice action figure, actually. This is a McFarlane Toys product. It's a very heavy action figure. There's a lot of different accessories that this thing comes with. So if you're an action figure fan, I think this is pretty cool. I would like this if this was like of something that I knew, but it's a nice figure. I can appreciate that. Ooh, next we have a figural keychain. This is a TMNT. Now, I already have all of these actually, so I don't know if I want to open it, but this is a collector's key ring. These are the figural keychains that are kind of like plump. 
I definitely bought all of these and actually I think I got the whole, I think I ended up with the whole set. I don't know if I got the exclusives though. Okay, I'm not gonna open this. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it sealed because I do have every one of these, so I don't wanna like, unless these are different, but I don't think they are. No, I'm pretty sure these are the same one. So I'm not gonna open these because I already have this whole set, but I'll go ahead and put that in my giveaway or my prize box, one or the other. Okay, the next item we have is a Green Lantern comic. This looks cool. It's not the thickest comic in the world. It's pretty, not basic, it's a little bit thin, but I like the cover art. This is from November 2009. Blackest Night, Uneasy Alliance. So there's that. Okay, so again, I think that this is a drop, I feel like. So let's set that aside first. Should we open it, do you think? Or should we do the shirt first? Let's, let's do this, we'll do this. I like how they wrap it, that's kind of cool. Whoa! This is neat! There's a little bit of some bent corners, but we got a freaking chase pop from Daredevil. This is the Punisher, and it's a chase variant. Let's see if I can figure out what is the chase variant. The chase variant is that he's holding a red, uh, oh, he's holding um, Daredevil's mask in his hand. I don't know if you can see that. This is cool. Wow, we had a chase. I didn't, I know they do drops, but I didn't know that they do chase drops. I have received drops in the past. I've received a few autographs. I've received a few Funko Pops, but that's super cool. That's neat. There is um, one banged up corner right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's still a neat pop. Okay, the last time we have is a shirt, and like I said, this is a shirt punch shirt. It's a men's medium, it's white. And here is the design. What is it? I can't really tell. It's a giant rectangle. Whoa, I like this shirt. Enter the turtle. Oh, this is cool. Wait a second. Why is Donatello so small in this? Like. How come Donatello is so little? Like, look at this. You have all the turtles and then Donatello's right down here. Like, what the heck, guys? What the heck? I still like the shirt, and I actually really like the colors. It seems like it's a little bit like a faded color tone, which I like. I appreciate that. The shirt itself feels like a Gildan Heavy Cotton shirt. It's very, it's a little bit stiff, a little bit big. I was never a huge fan of the shirt punch shirts. So, I don't know if that's what they go with now all the time, but it's a cool design. I really do like that design. All right, cool. That was everything in the box. Let's go and do some quick pricing and recap. This was box 29 for September 2018. Um, let's see, oh. Uh, October's box is featuring something from Rocky Horror Show. November's box is featuring, I don't know if it's like a, a uh, Autograph of Nicole DeBoer, who is in Star Trek. So there's information, but yeah, here's our card. All right, let's do this. We had our shirt punch shirt. It's called Cowabunga. Now, the shirt punch shirts are not licensed. They call it a turtle t-shirt. So because of that, I'm going to go ahead and just give that $10. That was one of the other things about shirt punch shirts. They're a little bit generic, but the designs are actually really cool. I do like the shirt punch designs. I'm not going to lie. The autograph that they had is from, I think, the guy who plays Spawn. We didn't get that. They do sell an option. It's called the Sure Thing case or something like that where you can like guarantee that you're gonna get an autograph, but I don't mess with that. Oh, okay, wait, this is cool. Okay, let's keep going. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We had our Commando Spawn action figure. It's a really nice figure. This thing is going on Amazon for $18.50, and I would say that that is fairly close to what I was gonna give. I was gonna give it probably $15. So I'm gonna give it 15, but I think you might be able to give this thing like 18. So we had our Mortal Kombat pop. I don't know if everyone got Scorpio. You could either, oh, you could either get Sub-Zero, Scorpion, or Louis Kang, Katana, or Raiden. Oh, so like everybody. Um, let's go ahead and see how much this is worth on Stashpedia. $10. 
We got our Green Lantern comic book. It says comic books. Round three of the random comics. Every case will have a random comic or two inserted. Okay, well, um, I would probably just give this comic $3. We had our, so let's see. Oh, we had our two trading card packs. Um, I usually give trading card packs $2 each, so I had $4 for that. And then here's where we get a little bit interesting. So they actually, every box got a drop. Which drop did you get? Which chase did you get? So out of the drops, you could have either gotten a monogram, Ninja Turtles 3D foam key ring, or the Cryptozoic Street Fighter little knockout vinyl minifigure. Oh, that's cool. That would be a neat project. I love Street Fighter. So, so there's these chance for drops for either the key ring, the keychain, or this little Street Fighter minifigure. We got the keychain. And then it says, all cases will also get a mystery pop, and it's also a chase. So everyone got a chase. I got the Punisher chase. Let's go ahead and see. So everyone got it, which means that we can actually value it. Sometimes they do mystery drops for only, like, it's not everybody. It's just certain people. So this mystery chase, which will go great with my regular Punisher, because I do have the regular Punisher, is $30. That's actually amazing. So after we priced everything out, my value is worth $72. So this box cost me $25 plus $10 shipping, so $35 a month. So we got $72 worth of value and it cost me $35, which means this box got $37 worth of extra value. Based off of what I remember from this box, that's kind of just how it was. Like, it always got really good value. Now the items sometimes are a teeny bit random, but you can't go wrong getting two Funko Pops and a Chase, and everyone got a Chase. So now I'm interested to hear, if you got this box, what Chase did you get? Because it sounds like everybody got a Chase. There was another drop with the, the Street Fighter or the, the Street Fighter minifigure or the key ring, and then everything else was the same. But yeah, I'm happy that I have this box again. I think that this box has great value and great items, and I believe that's how I felt about it before. I don't I don't really remember to be honest, but I remember always liking this box for the most part. It always gets, it's it's been consistently good where it always gets its extra value and it always just has a lot of stuff. Um, I definitely appreciate the two Funko Pops, specifically the fact that they gave everybody a chase, which I think is cool. It's just a kind of a neat thing. So if I had to rate this box, I would, if I didn't like talk, think about all the different, um, franchises, I would say this box is easily a 5 out of 5 noobs because the value is like amazing and I feel like I should just give it a 5 out of 5 noobs. For me personally, I'd probably say a 4.5 out of 5 noobs just because I'm not a huge fan of all the franchises that we got but I do appreciate all of the items and the value, the extra value. Like you really can't go wrong there. So this box is easily a 5 out of 5 noobs especially if you like a majority of the items. It's there. Alright guys! That's all for you in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. If you guys got this box, what Chase Funko Pop did you get? And what drop item did you get? Did you get the Street Fighter minifigure or the Figaro keychain? I'm more interested. I really want to know kind of what drops people got with the um, Chase figure because that's pretty cool. So let me know all of your thoughts down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. And before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out is going to go to Richard from the UK. Richard from the UK, thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support. Um, you went on a comment spree, which is why I noticed you, and I just want to say thank you, and uh, you're going to get the video shout out. So, shout out to you, Richard! Shout out to you! Alright guys, I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!